This is a demonstration of tracking protection, the next set of privacy features in IE9 to help keep third-party websites from tracking your web behavior. With tracking protection, consumers can filter content in a page that may have an impact on privacy. Let's look at how it works. Here's an example web page from the IE Test Drive site. Like many pages on the web, this one includes content from other websites. These elements often look like they're just part of the site. Here you see a stock ticker, links for social sharing, videos, advertisements, and single pixel images that are used for tracking by third parties. Everyone has different privacy preferences. What may be seen as value to some customers can be privacy issues for others. On this page, some of the content comes from site A. These elements are shown with green boxes around them. Some of the content comes from yet another site, site B. These elements are shown with red boxes around them. With tracking protection in IE9, you can choose which third-party sites can receive your information and track you online. You can add tracking protection lists to block and allow elements on the page coming from third-party sites. Adding a tracking protection list is as simple as clicking a link on a page. Here, clicking on the list for site A brings up a dialog to add a tracking protection list. The publisher of the list specifies the sites and the types of content to allow or block in a description of the list here. IE9 checks for updates to the list once a week. When the page is refreshed after the tracking protection list is added, you'll see that all the content inside the green boxes coming from site A is blocked and cannot be used to track. In real-world browsing, this lets you view the content from a site you navigate to, like msnbc.com, while blocking some or all of the content on the page coming from other sites that might track you. Here's another tracking protection list. This list blocks the content coming from site B. The list also allows the content coming from site A. Now when the page is refreshed, you'll see that the content inside the red boxes coming from site B is blocked, and the content in the green boxes coming from site A is allowed. When I close the browser and open it back up, you'll see that the content coming from site B in the red boxes is still blocked. These lists apply across all the pages you visit not just the page you get the list from. Once you've opted into tracking protection, it stays on across all browsing sessions until you decide to turn it off. With Internet Explorer 9 and tracking protection, you stay in control of your private data as you browse the web.